Hello, this is David Benayim from Excel Consulting, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the switch true pattern using the switch function with uh, true in it. So, uh, I have another video where I explain the merits of using switch versus nested if versus IFS. Um, Excel 2019 released two new functions this one IFS and another one called switch. And in that video, I said that when you're referring to multiple columns, then IFS is one that works out. However, uh, the switch true pattern is actually a little bit better than that, and I'll show you that now. Um, so what the, what the problem is, is that with if formulas, you just keep needing to nest on another if function for everything that might go wrong. So if that, if that, if that, if that. And you do have the contents of an other clause. So if none of these are true, then the last value of false will be the other uh, category. In IFS, you don't have another clause. You have to say, give every possible um, option and then list it there. With switch true, you can get the benefits of both, but it's a little bit, um, you just need to follow this pattern. So the normal switch needs an expression and then value one, result one, value two, result two, etc. Uh, and that means expression will normally just be the cell in the same row, and then you drag it down for the column. So it is quite efficient like that, except when we need to get, take options from two columns, it doesn't work. So in this case, what I'm going to write instead is switch true. So the expression, this is just saying the word true, comma, value. I'm going to say this one equals Hulk. And this part is written a lot like the ifs IFS formula. Value one, comma, result one. That is fantasy, comma, if this one is equal to vision, then say the word in speech marks robot, comma. And now I need to test is this one equal to Star-Lord, because Star-Lord is the only human from the Guardians. So then I'm going to say this one equals Star-Lord, then say human. Now for, now I need to take this new column. So this is equal to Guardians, say alien, comma, and if none of those are true, then just say human. So that's my other clause that can include this being Avengers, or this being Iron Man, or this being Spider-Man. But it's just another clause like that. That gives me the same result there. And I'll just drag it down. There we go. So that's the same one. A VLOOKUP is not possible in the situation where you have to refer to multiple columns, unfortunately. Um, switch true works in this context. It also works if you're using non-equality. So let's say you have like 50, 34, a few numbers here. Uh, if you want to say switch expression, so let's say we want to test, uh, we want to give it bands, we need to say true and then comma, this is bigger than uh, 30 result 1 will be big otherwise this is bigger than 20 uh, say another thing and you can keep building it up uh, so this switch true pattern works basically to replace the IFS and with this knowledge I just don't really see the point of using the IFS formula ever um, great that's my opinion thanks for watching